Hello, it's Yoga Hippie. Well, uh, Prius chat. <clears throat> I'm uh, wanting to talk about letting go, and either I'll either I put it at the beginning. Probably I'll put it at the end. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it at the beginning. Who knows? I'm gonna share a little video. So I either just shared a little video with you <laughs> at the beginning of this, and that was me. Uh, letting go, which is what I want to talk about. Um, so if I didn't post it at the beginning, I will make sure I put it at the end. <laughs> it's a, a video of me having a dance party at the public park. <laughs> and uh, it's like 11 seconds long. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had been wanting to have a dance party. And of course, I'm living in my car. So uh, dance parties hard to do in your car. So obviously, I'd have to do that outside of my car in a public place. And uh, so I've been wanting to do that for a long time and uh, so I'd had sort of an anxiety ridden day and I did it <laughs> and I want to tell you it was very freeing letting go is a good thing it's a good thing it's a good thing it's a good thing so I hope you'll like my video and subscribe for more videos Um, letting go uh, Man, that's a big topic. So my first real experience with letting go was when I moved from Kansas City after 20 years to San Diego and I cleared out a three bedroom duplex that had a garage and a basement. <laughs> and I had been carrying around a bunch of shit for, I don't know, probably almost 20 years. <laughs> and uh, I put some stuff in my mom's attic and the rest, um, my daughter and I crammed into this Prius that I'm sitting in right now. And we drove across the country and I got rid of my car, had a Hyundai Sonata, and uh, anyway, it was great. And then I found myself in San Diego, <clears throat> and I was holding on to this dream. <laughs> I had waited eight years to move to the ocean, and I had taken a job there as a massage therapist at a um, chiropractor's office. And it was a great little office, really awesome people, however, I was not making any money <laughs> because I believe that job was there for lessons for me. I think the whole thing was orchestrated for me to learn <laughs> how to let go and what happens when we let go. So what happened was by the end, I think the most I ever made there in two weeks was $725. If you've ever been to California, it's freaking expensive. It's just crazy. So $725, not cutting it. And the rest of the weeks piled in comparison. I worked there from August until the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> I got a part-time job at a casino that wrecked my body. Um, I wasn't doing casino work. I was being a massage therapist, as I am. And uh, I was... Uh, doing chair massage and it just jacked up my neck because these people were playing poker and it was just stupid. But anyway, it was a means to an end and so I did it. And then I felt so much love from everybody in the Kansas City area, you know, my friends and yoga students and they all like sent me money and different things and gifts and cards and they knew I was having a really hard time because I wasn't making any money and I was trying to find a part-time job, right? I had arrived at work and I was about to give my notice and I told the receptionist, I'm giving my notice. I'm just going to work at the casino until I figure out something else because I'm not making much more money here, you know. And uh, anyway, she talked me into staying because she was quitting. <laughs> and I was like, so this is a lesson in putting other people in front of myself, which is something else I'm going to talk about in a few minutes um but anyway so i went through all this stress i i, I decided okay okay i won't leave because i felt bad and I, you know meanwhile i'm drowning in a sea of hell <laughs> and i'm holding on to dear life to my dreams you know i want to live here i want to be with the ocean i can't go back to kansas city because i'm gonna look like a failure and i'll be embarrassed and you know whatever so um i just tortured myself and i had my resume on indeed and a lady at a spa had contacted me and I just blew her off kind of because um, I thought that I was on a non-compete but it was all illegal my non-compete because I was a independent contractor and that's illegal but you know the doctor I was working for was pretty savvy with that and I had no idea and didn't know any better and so I signed it and thought that uh, I was locked into this and she happened to be just under five miles away which was the rule like I couldn't be working anywhere 
you know, five miles in or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, she contacted me and I was just sitting on it and, uh, I went on a bike ride like I often do and some guy, just random guy, he was sent to me. He was sent to give me a, a, a message. <laughs> I really do believe it. He was so random. And this guy, I rang my bell and uh, he was like, uh, hey, um, sorry, I'm distracted by all this traffic. Um, <laughs> uh, he was like, saying, hey, thanks for ringing your bell because I was trying to get by all these people, right? So we started talking and uh, and we ended up having like a really long conversation. I was telling him I'd like San Diego a lot better if I could afford to live here, if I had a job that paid me well enough and, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was just sort of having a shitty attitude by that point. And, um, and he was like, well, you know, I said, well, I'm leaving in like three months, you know, to I just can't get a job. I don't know what the deal is. And he's like, well, you're lying to these people. And I'm like, what? And he's like, you're lying. You got to tell them the truth. You got to tell the universe needs to know what you need because you're sending out confusing messages. You have to be honest with these people and tell them that you're leaving. I was like, dude, I'll never get a job. And he's like, well, you're not getting a job now. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. Crazy kind of a guy. That was that. We went our separate ways. Nice chat. Bye-bye. So I had, uh, in the meantime, I had had this conversation with myself where I had a bath and, uh, man, that was an ordeal. Like that was a necessary bath, but I took buckets of, uh, water that I boiled on the stove to fill out the bathtub because all I had was a shower head that was filling up the, sh the bathtub. There was no like bathtub drain. So, or, or spout, you know, <laughs> it was such an ordeal. So anyhow, um, I told myself when I was in the bathtub, like, you have to let go of this. You're going to lose it. You've got a week. And if shit doesn't turn around for you in a week, you're done. You're going to leave and you're going to go back to Kansas City and you're going to make money and get back on your feet and it's going to be fine. And then you'll regroup and whatever. And I took this deep breath. I'll never forget it. And I felt so sad. And I'd just been bawling my eyes out for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I'm sure my daughter was over it. And or she had already left by this point. She had left a month before because she hated it. <laughs> she was having a rough time too. And she, she didn't want to live by the ocean like I did. She didn't like San Diego. But anyway, so I let it all go. And it had rained for like three straight days pouring down rain and I had a beach cruiser, right? And I was broke, so I wasn't going anywhere and I was hardly working. So I left to go take a job interview. I finally had contacted this lady and uh, at the spa and in the middle of the interview, she's like, all my girls have been here for the whole time I've been open and I just really, you know, I have a family here and I just wanna welcome in the next therapist to be a part of our therapy family and I, I'd like them to be here a while and blah, 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 blah. And I was thinking, I can't lie to this lady. I'll be such an asshole. <laughs> I couldn't even be authentic if I didn't tell her the truth. I bet I wouldn't even get hired. And I could hear that guy in my head. And I was like, God, this is the scariest thing I ever did. But I had to let all of it go because I was trying to control my circumstances. And uh, I wasn't allowing the universe to take care of me. <laughs> so I said, look, I'm leaving. This was like the week before Christmas or New Year's or something. And I was like, like, I'm, I'm leaving uh, to go travel in May, at the beginning of May, my daughter's coming back to get me and we're going on a three week road trip and then I'm going to Panama and I don't even know if I knew I was going to Panama at that point. I don't think I did. Anyway, I was going and then I'm going to travel <clears throat> with the imaginary money that I had. <laughs> I'm a believer. <laughs> anyway, uh, so she smiled and said, thank you for telling me the truth and being honest with me. And that goes a really long way with me. And I'm like crying in my job interview with this lady. <laughs> I don't even know her. She was so sincere and so genuine and awesome. Anyway, she hired me and I worked there for three months and, uh, or whatever it was until May. And she told me, I love you, Christina. If you want to come back for a day or a month, <laughs> whatever, you can come back anytime you want. And that's what I've done. I've been coming and going from therapy day spa the whole time, ever since January. Uh, well, I guess it was officially, I started working on January 12th or 14th or whatever of 2016, but then started coming and going May of that same year. So 
I was in shell shock, like basically the first week or two, I was walking around the spa, just like, I was so happy. I couldn't believe my good fortune, you know? And uh, it was because I let go. So I tell you that story because now, almost 10 years into my massage career, I'm letting it go. I may or may not come back to it. If I do, I will never do it full time again. It's wrecked my body and I'm in been recovering all year from my traveling. I was carrying a backpack around for uh, with all my things in it for a year almost. And anyway, between that, the casino and just everything and not getting consistent body work, my body was just like pissed off. And then I do a lot of deep tissue work. So um, I have been ignoring an injury I have in my hand and everything's going so much better in my body right now because I've quit using my hands probably 80%. And uh, anyway, it's been an emotional roller coaster for me because massage is dear to my heart. But I know that I've been working for two years to try to figure out and, and pursuing this traveling but also this past year, wholeheartedly taking trainings um, while I'm working a lot um, to move forward and leave. I didn't really think I was going to leave massage. I just thought I would like not do it while I was traveling, <laughs> you know, but I would make money other ways while I was traveling through sound healing and energy work. Right. So those are the things that I've been pursuing. I'm just sort of dragging my feet about it. And uh, anyway, the universe just made it really clear that it's happening now. <laughs> so I've backed off of working as much and I'm um, trying to take better care of myself. And I got some body work. I, have, I don't know if you can see, but I have like cupping bruises. Um, they're all over my back. <laughs> Um, but it's good and uh, I'm feeling better and taking a lot of natural stuff to help with the f inflammatory stuff But I'm gonna wrap this video up um, And I'll keep sharing with you how my life changes and what happens as I continue to let go And I want to encourage you to have dance parties in the park and not worry about what everybody thinks of you because it was super liberating and I felt my heart expand and uh, open and I felt free and <sighs> just felt so good <laughs> so I think I will put it here at the end um, a little 11 second video of me dancing my heart out <laughs> I hope you enjoy it and it inspires you to let go and to allow the universe to have space to make magic happen for you I love you so much I hope you have a great Thursday peace out I have wanted to do that for a really long time. <laughs> I just danced for like six songs. 